Hey curators, welcome to this finished pattern reveal. Hi everybody, welcome back to the Yarn Curator. My name is Naomi and welcome to my small slice of the internet where we like to exhibit one finished project at a time. If you would like to follow me on social media, I am the Yarn Curator on Instagram and House of Cardigans on Ravelry. And I also have a joint podcast group with my sister Zoe and that is the Curated Felicity group on Ravelry. What's up, Zoe? Hey, hey. And today I am joined by my handsome husband, Mr. I don't Yarn. I know about all that, but thank you, thank you. <laughs> Mr. Yarn Curator, and he is here to model and give feedback, uh, his opinion as well as mine, on a finished sweater that we just finished making. This is the Forest Park Cardigan by Kay Hopkins. Shout out to Kay Hopkins. And, and I finished this actually probably like a month or two ago, I would say. But she was still working on it this morning though. Just weaving in the last few ends. Don't be telling dirty little secrets. So back in February, this guy got a new job in an office. Pre-COVID. And requested a cardigan to be able to wear to work. So I spent a few hours searching Ravelry for something that I thought would work for him. And I just kept coming back to this pattern while I was sifting through the results. One, I know he likes trees. Uh, yes, I have the Florida Trees Are Cool license plate. <laughs> So I thought that was a good tie-in. We used to do a lot of hiking when we lived out in the mountains. So I thought it was good. And the yarn I used for this is John Arbin on their Viola DK base. The colorway is Nimbus Cloud for the gray. And then the green is from South Down Yarns on their Flockton base. And it's a naturally dyed yarn. Uh, both of these are a non superwash yarn. So when I finished knitting and blocking the garment, it did not grow very much like superwash tends to do. Um, I had hoped it would grow just a little bit more so you could have a little more positive ease in it, but that didn't happen. I'll take whatever ease I got. <laughs> I'm easy. Yes. And easy on the ease. Both of these yarns I picked up last year at the Edinburgh Yarn Festival, and so it was nice to make something with that special yarn for him. Um, even though I had originally planned something for me, I don't mind sharing a little bit of the vacation with you as well. I was trying to do a Scottish accent, but then I decided not to do it because Let's I don't know. Let's hear your best no. Scottish no. accent. Oh, I was gonna say something like top of the morning to you. but That's I don't, Irish. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> any colloquial Scottish sayings, so. Wished. Wished means like shut your mouth. Wished. <laughs> um, blether, like you're going on, you're rambling, you're blethering. Yeah, no, I'd have to watch a movie to like... Pick it up. Yeah, I'm oh, sorry. Sorry, Scotland. If you're watching from Scotland, please comment <laughs> about how dumb I am. Or give us some more slang we can work into yes, our yes. everyday um, vocabulary. And so this is one random tangent and then we'll focus back in on the pattern. I really like to listen to the Outlander books and they're read um, with an English accent, but the narrator does a Scottish accent. And what are you shaking your head at? I'm not a Highlander fan. It's Outlander. Outlander, Highlander, that's when I was a kid. <laughs> Anyways, in the books when they say the word murder, there's one character and he always says murder and that's what I hear every I time I hear the word murder. It's yeah, murder. No. I just got good old American accent. <laughs> so what do we want to say about this pattern? How does it fit? How does it feel on um, your person? You know, it feels okay. It feels comfortable. I am in an air conditioned environment, so I think it'll suit me well. Um, I wish it would have came down past my bum, but it's okay. It ends around his hip, and you'll see that at the end. I'm gonna put some video footage at the end of him modeling this. Uh, for me, a few things I have to say about this pattern is I did not find it to be the most well-written pattern in terms of the directions. I thought they were a little confusing. Whose fault is that? The tech editor or the designer. 
or me as the knitter, but I did not find, she would put a lot of information in a section to where it became overwhelming. So you really had to like slowly read through them uh, while knitting it. Um, for, in terms of looking at the fit on you, I don't believe there's any short row shaping along the back here, which I think is why the back sometimes rides up on you. Remember earlier you were saying like, you thought the back looked a little funny. Do you have consent to touch me? I do. Okay. Um, yes, I do remember saying that. So I think if I were to knit this again, or if you are planning to knit this for a man who's probably a little more broad across the chest um, versus like my frame, you're a little bit broader across here, even though the bust measurement, which I picked the size off of, were about the same. Our busts are comparable. Yes, yes, they are. Anyways, I think it needed a little bit more room here across the shoulders, and I think that whole back panel would fit better on you. So if it were me to re, if I were to re-knit this, I would have added either a little bit of short row shaping here, maybe a couple more, or maybe I would have done a few more raglan increases just on the back panel, or I would maybe consider doing a few short rows after dividing for the sleeves just to create a little more fabric there. Um, so that is something that I would take into account if I were to make this again. I probably won't, um, not because I don't like the pattern or I don't like the way it works. I just really lost steam on it after I finished the body. Um, and I th think that's because the button band took way longer than I was expecting it to. It does still need buttons for him. We haven't gone out and picked those out yet. We'll get to them. Uh, it's Florida. The winter's not bad. It's not here yet. <laughs> yeah. <even>. <laughs> <laughs> and I did modify the size of the pockets on the pattern. I made them a little bit bigger to accommodate a modern iPhone. And these big hands. <laughs> the color work section here that goes across the chest and there's a little bit on the sleeves as well is done with mosaic knitting. So it's Different than stranded color work, you work a series of slip stitches. So the color work is worked over two rounds, but you manipulate with slip stitches those two rounds. And that's what creates this color work pattern. And I, she has the option where you can either purl the branches or knit them in stockinette. And I chose to purl. I'm glad I did. They pop off, uh, the texture of that pops off the sweater a little bit more. I'm popping off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if I were also to knit this again, I would probably do a few more rows here on the shawl collar so it's a little bit bigger. When I was on my needles, it looked plenty large, but now looking at it on you, it looks a little bit petite. And so I would probably add... because of my because of my bust. That's exactly what it is. So basics about this sweater is it is knit top down with a raglan construction. You knit these increases. You actually work a little bit of the color work section here before dividing for the sleeves. Then you divide the sleeves off and work the rest of the body flat back and forth. So knitting and purling. Once that's done, you then pick up your sleeves. You can work this optional color work detail and um this this optional color work detail that optional color work detail so once those are finished you then pick up the buttons on the body of the sweater then you pick up the button band uh, the shawl collar is worked using short rows and then you bind off and i think that's the basic rundown of how it's constructed it's a little fiddly when you're working this color work right here in between the raglan increases while you're still working because you actually have to like carry the working yarn across the armhole and then you cut that and weave in the ends at the end. So yeah, I would definitely say if you are an adventurous beginner or an intermediate knitter, um, definitely doable if you know how to knit, purl, make one left, make one right, and are feeling frisky and want to try out mosaic knitting then this is a good pattern to give a go for are you that. feeling frisky i was feeling frisky 
Are you feeling frisky? I'm always feeling frisky. <laughs> So I think with those skills, you can definitely make this if you're looking to make one of your first garments. The don't other, be scared. Don't be scared. And I do have to say one of the things I like about this cardigan, which is something that I don't often see when I'm pattern browsing is the fronts on it stay. You just kind of punched me. You just, she just punched me. Sorry. And right, I used fine. to have in a real life model. Okay, sorry. It's okay. Um, the front panels on this stay closed and so I notice when I look at a lot of other cardigans on Ravelry a lot of times they kind of fly open and you end up looking at the wrong side. So if you move your arm, no, you can, you can be relaxed. So like if he's just sitting here it hangs nice and closed. A lot of times I see things like drape open like this and personally that Drives me a little bit crazy. So that is one of the things that I like about this pattern is it holds that kind of closed shape well. So yeah, I'm excited to see him going off to work in this. I asked him when we went to go take some video footage of him wearing it earlier to choose how he would style it. It's how he would typically wear it to work. On a not right day. now, not right now. No, not right now. In At the end. So they probably have already seen it by now. No. What you're about to see. What you're about to see is how he would typically wear it to work. And I think you can dress it up or dress it down. We only did one outfit for our little mini model session. So yeah, you guys will see how that is styled at the end of the video. And as always, if you liked today's episode, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, I hope whatever you're working on brings you joy. And we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye. -bye.